Want to personalize these popular tumblers with a permanent method that will hold up in the wash? Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. You know I love screen printing everything here on my channel, but when it comes to tumblers, there is a much better method for creating a permanent design, especially on these coated tumblers. And that's using a laser to engrave them. This is the P2 laser from Xtools, which has expanded the types of projects that I can create here in my craft room. There's so much opportunity to sell products with a laser engraver. Tumblers is just one of 10 products I talk about in my free guide about making items to sell with your laser. If you're watching this and trying to decide if a laser is the right choice for you, be sure to get this free guide linked below. Something I've learned as a new laser user is that it takes some trial and error to get the settings right for each material that you use. And materials like these tumblers are expensive, so you want to get your settings right so you can have success right away. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through engraving two different brands of tumblers and give you the exact settings I used, as well as some tricks I learned to fix things like this distortion of my logo. I'm using the Xtool P2 laser, which is a CO2 laser, and it's on the riser base. This riser base is necessary in order to fit tumblers of this size in the machine. I've also engraved these tumblers in the Xtool M1 machine with the riser base. So these steps and settings I share are going to be using the P2, but hopefully seeing my process will help you out even if you're using a different Xtool machine or a different laser. I'm going to be using the RA2 Pro rotary attachment for these tumblers. This is what's going to hold and rotate the tumbler inside the laser. I followed the instructions to assemble this and thought the Xtool instructions in the box were really easy, so I'm not going to go through that but feel free to ask me questions in the comments if you have any trouble with it. One thing to note is I'm using the single step jaw components and these twist in and out to grip onto your tumbler. I have my tray set at the 2A level, which I found is the right height for this 40 ounce Simple Modern brand tumbler. Before we set the tumbler in the machine, you need to remove the handle. On these types of tumblers, you'll see two screws under the handle that come out and then you can pull the handle off. With the tumbler ready, you can now put it in the rotary. Slide the tumbler on the chuck and twist to tighten the grippers inside the tumbler. You want these to hit just below the threads of your tumbler. Once you get it in tight, turn your tumbler to see if it's wobbling when it rotates. If it spins unevenly, you want to adjust the position and try again until it rotates smoothly all the way around. Now we need to make sure that the laser dot is on the highest point of the tumbler. You may need to close the lid and open it back up to see the laser. Adjust your rotary and tumbler until this laser is at its highest point, just like this. Once it's in the right spot, I'm going to use my Cricut ruler to make sure that the rotary is square inside the machine. This will help ensure that the design doesn't end up crooked. Next, we want the surface that we're engraving on to be level. I'm using the support module under the end of the tumbler, and I'm going to adjust it until the tilt is level. Now that the rotary is in the right spot inside the laser and the tumbler is level, let's find our starting position. My design is gonna be three and three quarter inches wide, so I'm gonna eyeball where I want it on my tumbler in relation to the handle. So if I want it to go right here, I need to mark the right side of the design, and I'm gonna do this by putting a sticker or a piece of tape here. Close and open the lid to get the laser to come back on. And now spin the tumbler until the laser lines up with the sticker. The laser is gonna start engraving from the right side of the design and turn this way, finishing with the left edge of the design. That's why you wanna to measure to find the right side of your design and leave the laser pointed here. In creative space, we first need to adjust our material settings. You want laser cylindrical selected and the mode is chuck. Then for the simple modern tumbler, the top perimeter measures 11.787 inches around. When you put in the perimeter, the diameter is gonna auto adjust. You don't need to change this. Next, click the auto measure icon and the machine will determine this number. I leave the processing path to auto and we're ready to import our design. Make sure that it's sized to the same measurement we used earlier, which is three and three quarter inches wide. Now we need to flip it 180 degrees and place it along this green line. With the P2, you have the option to capture a close-up view. I do this so that I can make sure that the design is centered with this top section. With the design still selected, check this combine icon. If it's not grayed out like this, you should click the combine to join all of the pieces of your design together. This will speed up your engraving time a ton. 
With the design selected, now let's take a look at the engraved settings. For coated tumblers, the settings I found that work best for me are a power of 100%, speed of 250, with one pass, and 100 lines per centimeter. Now we're ready to click the process button. Double check that your design is all there and then click the start button. This is a look at the real-time speed of the P2 laser doing the engraving. And now I'm gonna speed up the video so you can see how it finishes. When you remove the tumbler from the machine, it's gonna be dirty. To clean it off, I highly recommend this LA's Totally Awesome Spray from the Dollar Tree. Spray it on and then wipe it off and check out how it leaves the engraving nice and shiny. I've tried other ways of cleaning these tumblers and they do not work this well. Now you can put the handle back on and that's it. Next, I wanna show you how to do a design that wraps around and also an engraving on the smaller bottom end of the tumbler. Because these pieces stick up, when the tumbler rotates all the way around, these could bump into the laser. That's what happened to me on this tumbler and the design misaligned in several spots. So to prevent the laser from hitting these pieces, you can just bend them down using a pair of pliers. For a full wrap design, or in my case, a nearly full wrap, it's gonna be the same steps, but I do like to measure out my design placement before putting the tumbler in the laser. Let's mark where we want the design to start. The bottom part of the tumbler measures 10 and an eighth inch. I wanna center the logo on each side of the tumbler. Halfway around the tumbler would be just over five inches. So at just over the two and a half inch mark is the, where I want the center of the logo on this side. Remember the P2 starts on the right side of the design. So if our logo is gonna be two inches wide, from the two and a half center mark, we need to go an inch over to the right. This means that the right edge of the logo will be at three and a half inches, and then maybe just a hair more to account for that extra eighth of an inch. Then let's go around the other side. The center point of the logo will be at about seven and a half inches. The logo is two inches, so I wanna go one inch to the right and mark that point. Now for the top part of the tumbler, my wrap is gonna be 11 inches wide. I don't want it to go under the handle, but you can make this a full wrap if you want to. The tumbler is 12 and 3 8 inches around. We wanna mark the right side of the design. So if my design is 11 inches, that leaves a 1 and 3 8 inch gap, and half of 1 and 3 8 is right here, so I'm gonna mark that spot. With the starting points marked, this is gonna make it really easy to set up in the P2. My tray is at the 2A spot for this 40 ounce Stanley dupe that I found on Amazon. I'm gonna set up the tumbler just like before to engrave the bottom part of the tumbler first. I'm gonna engrave the logo and then make some adjustments and engrave the top part of the tumbler next. You'll notice I've adjusted the tumbler so that the laser is hitting the highest point of this bottom section. And I'm adjusting the support module until it's level. In Creative Space, I'm gonna set the perimeter for this bottom part to 10.125 inches. Click the Auto Measure button and it will adjust the distance. Since we want to only engrave the logo, I'm gonna change the output for the top part of the design to ignore. Now we can line up the logo. My engraved settings are the same as before, 100% power, 250 speed, one pass, and I leave the lines per centimeter at 100. The reason I'm doing the top part separately is that I learned that when I do the same settings and engrave it all together, the top part looks great, but the bottom part will distort my logo. I've seen people do the entire tumbler at one time, but I'm guessing maybe their design isn't as noticeable when it distorts a little, or they're adjusting for this distortion with their design layout. So after making several mistakes to try and get it to work this way, I learned it was just better to do two sections separately. With the rotary processing the engraving based on the smaller diameter of this bottom section of the cup, I found that it makes a huge difference in how well it engraves and it doesn't distort my logo. 
depending on what you're engraving here, this distortion may not be as noticeable for you. Because my logo is round, just a little bit of distortion is really noticeable. Once that's done, I spin the cup around and line up the other side and process it one more time with the same settings. This logo takes less than three minutes to engrave on each side. With the bottom part done, now we need to move the tumbler before starting the top part. I'm moving it so that the highest part is lined up with the laser. Use the level again to adjust the tilt until it's level. Then line up the tape mark with the laser and let's go back to the software. In creative space, my perimeter needs to be changed to 12.375 inches for the top part. Then click the auto measure to set the distance. Let's move the logo out of the way and change the output to ignore. Move the top wrap design in place and I use the capture tool to get a close up view so I can make sure it's lined up perfectly. Make sure you've set to engrave with the same settings as before and change ignore to output. Now we're ready to engrave. I've sped this part up so you can see how it engraves starting on the right side of the design and works its way all the way around to the left edge of the design. It took about 30 minutes to do this top engraving. Check out how amazing this looks with the design on the top and the bottom section of this tumbler. These tumblers that I made today are all pretty straight, which is something I look for when I'm purchasing my blanks. I would encourage you to start with a straight edge before trying a cup or tumbler with a taper. When you engrave on a tumbler that has a taper, you're gonna need to adjust your design file to accommodate for the amount of taper that you have. This process is a little more complex, so I prefer to use blanks like this that make the setup much faster. Don't forget to grab my free guide where I share my top 10 items you can make as a beginner laser owner and sell. There's so many amazing things you can do with this laser machine that it is worth the investment, and I definitely think that it's something you can justify spending if you're starting to sell your creations. If you're interested in cutting acrylic with this laser, here's another video I made that will explain getting started with acrylic. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other laser machine videos.